Yeah, welcome everybody to the uh, course on Monte Carlo methods. So uh, I will lead the course. My name is uh, Jörg Kienitz. I have uh, 13 years of industry experience as a financial consultant, as a financial engineer, and uh, now I'm currently working as a head of quantitative analytics in the treasury department of Deutsche Postbank, which is part of the Deutsche Bank concern. Um, and uh, I'm also uh, giving lectures on computational finance, interest rates, Monte Carlo methods on a university level. Currently I'm lecturing in the computational finance course at the University of Wuppertal. Uh, before that I was a uh, lecturer in the um, part-time program on the Master of uh, Quantitative Finance in, at Oxford University. And um, <coughs> I've written several uh, papers and uh, two books which appeared at the, in the Wiley Finance series. Uh, one book is uh, the Monte Carlo Frameworks, together with uh, Daniel uh, Duffy. And uh, the most recent book is uh, Financial Modeling, Theory Implementation Practice uh, with MATLAB Code. And um, uh, this includes uh, several uh, things on Monte Carlo simulation for um, uh, stochastic volatility models for multi-dimensional models and uh, the MATLAB code uh, which comes with this book is uh, available for download and yeah so I hope you enjoy the course and I wish you the best uh, and if you spot any errors in the script uh, please let me know. So this is a second part uh, of the course on Monte Carlo methods and uh, <clears throat> In the first part, uh, we have seen uh, where we can apply Monte Carlo simulation. We have considered the mathematical foundations, so especially integration with respect to a stochastic process, in this case Brownian motion. Uh, we saw several applications of the Monte Carlo methods in finance. Uh, we have seen uh, option pricing, we have seen uh, applications to asset allocation and um, calculating quantiles. Um, we saw random number generators, pseudo and quasi random numbers, and we were able to transform uh, very simple, uniformly distributed random variables to uh, variates from given distributions. And furthermore, uh, we have uh, set up a framework uh, for doing the timely evolution of a system specified by some stochastic mechanism, which we called path generation in one and in multi-dimensions. And uh, what we do in the second part of this uh, Monte Carlo course is uh, we study further applications. So one uh, <coughs> such application would be uh, um, the exposure simulation, which is very important uh, for CBA. And um, this uh, we uh, do in the framework of uh, a fixed income setup. So especially we are using an interest rate swap to expose the exposure simulation and to uh, show the discretization of certain valuation adjustments, credit valuation adjustment, bilateral credit valuation adjustment, debit and funding valuation adjustments. Then we uh, consider variance reduction techniques, so we wish to keep uh, the amount as small as possible for applying Monte Carlo simulation. Uh, so this means we have to study certain methodologies for um, reducing the number of simulations since uh, the overall level is given by the square root of the number of uh, simulations. Um, we have to think about reducing uh, the sample variance of the method and uh, we study the most uh, relevant variance reduction methods like uh, the very simple ones like antithetic sampling, but also uh, complex ones like uh, important sampling and control variates. And uh, yeah, we show some applications where these variance reduction methods can be used. Uh, then we come to advanced Monte Carlo uh, techniques. So one very important application and uh, very important for trading and securing portfolios is the calculation of Greeks in complex models and uh, showing how uh, uh, algorithms can be set up to use Monte Carlo for calculating these Greeks values which correspond to uh, derivatives of um, 
um, payoff functions or valuation functions with respect to the underlying parameters. We will also consider early exercise opportunities, so uh, being able to use Monte Carlo for evaluating Bermudan or American options and uh, a new application uh, which is very important when we calculate CVA. Uh, it is uh, the backward approach to CVA and uh, yeah, this is I think of interest uh, not only to traders but also to risk managers and uh, uh, people who have to uh, cope with the exposure simulation nowadays and uh, during the whole course we consider also implementational issues of the Monte Carlo simulation because the Monte Carlo simulation can be set up in a nice way using object-oriented programming and specifying all the building blocks as separate classes which somehow interact and which can easily be um, extended and uh, modified to suit your own needs. So the Monte Carlo simulation is I think uh, one of a good and nice illustration for using object-oriented programming. So that would be the ag agenda for the second part of the Monte Carlo course.